coming back to my channel. I'm Stephanie, if you're new here. I told you guys in one of my other videos that I was gonna start doing crock pot meals for you guys. I'm probably gonna do them on a Sunday. I think that's just gonna work out better with scheduling on how I'm doing my air fryer videos and homeschool and all of that. I do have an Instant Pot and we only use that every once in a while because I don't always use it for like complete meals. Um, I rather use my crock pot. So that's why we are going to be doing that today. I have a six quart air fryer. I will, or I'm so used to saying air fryer. So anyways, okay. So I have a six quart crock pot and I will link this down below. I got mine from Walmart, but I can leave a link from Amazon on a link down below so I will go check that out down there but I'm gonna get started here so the kids are gonna actually help me with some of these crock pot meals just because they want to participate in some of the stuff that I'm doing a lot of times when I'm doing the air fryer videos I know a lot of you guys just want me to like show you what we're doing and share that with you um, but with the crock pot meals I'm just giving kind of a heads up that my kids really want to participate in cooking and stuff and I thought this would be fun for them to be able to help me and uh cook so they're waiting they're sitting here waiting for their turn to be able to come in and help me but what i'm going to do first is tell you what we're going to be using today this is going to be like the most easiest meal that you could ever do um and let me know if you guys already tried this before but all it is is i'm going to take let me see one two three four five pieces of chicken and you could probably do three or four and then just do less of the other stuff that we'll be adding to it so i'm gonna cut all the fat off the chicken and then the next thing you need to do just add it to your crock pot and then we'll talk about everything else that we'll be doing after so i'm gonna get started here cutting everything off and then i'll come back on Okay, so we got Evelyn here with us right now and she's gonna put the salt and pepper on the chicken, right? Yeah. Okay, so you take that and pour it in there. Gotta go all over the place. Go shake, shake, shake. All right, that looks good. Now do the pepper. And then it's Nash's turn. So Nash is gonna pour in the salsa. You just put the whole jar in. So we are oh, using oh, a 16 ounce of salsa. And you can use any kind that you want. So you can use mild, hot, medium, whatever. And this, I just put the salt and pepper in, but um, with this, this is all the seasoning you really need. But also you can add anything that you else you would like. We're just gonna keep it really basic with the salsa tonight, but I just wanted to share with you on how easy it is. So, and it's just quick and yummy. So, okay, put that in there. The whole entire can. Yep, the whole jar. <laughs> you wanna see the video? We're gonna be turning ours on high just because I need to cook it faster today. But otherwise you can cook it on low for three hours. So I'm just gonna turn it on high and cook it for two hours. So I did it to you? Yep. And then make sure you check to see if it's finished and if you add, need to add more time onto your cooking time. Um, we're just gonna let this cook for two hours and we'll come back and we'll see what it looks like. And then we can start shredding it up and plating it up, so. Plating it up? Yeah, plating it up. Plating it up? You did that? Look at the salt. This thing is spicy. No, it won't be spicy. Um, I want to put my tongue. You don't want to burn your tongue? Yeah. <laughs> You won't burn your tongue. 
Yummy. Yeah. But yeah. 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 Oh, it's gonna be yummy. 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 Okay, so the chicken's done. Evelyn's gonna help me. So all I have to do is shred the chicken apart. Okay, so I poured some of the extra uh, salsa and stuff from the chicken onto the shredded chicken and then just put it on your wrap. Um, I'll do it. I'll do I'm just using it. regular. Right, okay, you're gonna help? Regular taco blend cheese. Okay, put some more on there. I'll do it by myself. Okay, this one, I'll do this one. No, I'll do that by myself. Okay. I'll do that by myself. Uh, hold on, hold on. Okay. Time to do this. So, I'm just gonna add a little bit of sour cream, probably just to this wrap. Fold it. Yep, I'm gonna make another one. Yeah, I'll and make then, another one. And then you can put the cheese on this one. Okay, put the cheese on this one. Okay, that's good. Now we gotta make uh, another one. Yeah. Mm. Be excited. You're gonna be excited? Yeah. It's gonna be yummy. It's gonna be a face. It's gonna be a face? Yeah. I want to put the cheese in. Okay, put cheese on. Sometimes we just wrap ours um, inward, just like a regular so like burrito up. or taco, oh. just like that. Or you can just leave it open like that if you want. What we made today is chicken and cheese tacos. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So hopefully you guys Put like this, this kind of video. And cheese and next one. <laughs> All right, so hopefully you guys liked today's video. Don't forget to give us a big thumbs up. And Don't forget see to subscribe. Next one. See you next one. Yeah, let's see how many people enjoy this video.